we've never watched evolution like this on such a large scale with so much sequencing of the genome. Um, in the, we've never done anything like this before. <laughs>
uh, put a major damper on transmission infections. And if we had backup drugs to the only pills that are available today, we'll be in much better stead and we'll finally get containment. We've never really had any durable sense of containment. I do see a, a way, I'm very optimistic actually, you know, as compared to influenza, you know, think about that. We've never had vaccines with 95% efficacy, not even close. We're lucky with quadrivalent vaccines of influenza to be 40%. This virus is so amenable to taking it down scientifically as opposed to influenza, but we're just not acting like um, we, we can do this and we can. You know, you can retrofit mechanical ventilation that consistently brings in fresh air from outside. You can put in air filtration, things like HEPA units. And so that's really effective. There's also some really promising new technology called the far uh, ultraviolet light, which isn't harmful to people, but can kill COVID particles in aerosols really effectively and really quickly. Um, there's loads of really good things that we know how to do, but they all require investment. But apart from COVID, cleaner indoor air has loads of benefits. It works on any infectious disease, so it will reduce colds, it will reduce flu. So there's loads of advantages to doing this. So it's just about finding the will and the mechanisms for supporting people to, to upgrade their ventilation. I, I don't think we should be sequencing at the same rate as we have been, but I think that there is a, a need for ongoing surveillance. And um, I think we could be doing a little bit more than we are doing. And I would like to see a, a slight increase in uh, testing and sequencing to ensure that we pick up new variants which might be of concern sooner rather than later. Uh, I should also say that we can use this type of sequencing in other ways. So we can actually look at the genomics of other viruses quite readily. Um, so influenza, for example, which remains a significant risk um, and, and will remain a significant risk in the future, um, we would be able to use the similar methods to actually pick up uh, viruses like influenza at the same time. And so I, I think we can um, make use of some real advances in the technology to improve our surveillance in the UK, but that will require funding. And it's for policymakers to decide what we can afford and what we can't afford. Um, but in an ideal world, I think we should be doing more.